downtown he's a long way from home and he's pouring them down there's a lady in waiting a warm midnight friend oh but it's that sweet southern comfort again well it's cool conversation it's courage in a glass he don't tell her he's married and she don't have to ask now they're just living for the moment let the good times begin oh he got too close to comfort again so hello everybody, welcome to the Red Clay Music Foundry. Thank you so much for coming out this evening. Appreciate you being here, thank you very much. A couple of things I'd like to uh, brief you on before we get started. Uh, please remember in the lobby there is merchandise, uh, records from the boys, uh, Celtic Fiddle Festival, and uh, some individual records and some books and all sorts of stuff. And uh, these guys would just be uh, most appreciative if y'all bought all of that so they don't take any of it out of here with them. Just go ahead and buy it all, because you know there's a there's a there's an opportunity for you to need a gift, like every month of the year, not just Christmas. So go ahead and buy all that stuff, and it'll do them a big favor. And we have something out there that can assist you in your shopping pleasure, and that's called a bar. And if you straddle over to the bar and see Sweet Jess and and take yourself a little uh, alcohol, then you usually spend a little more at the merch table. So. Uh, Please consider that, too, as well. Uh, there are two restrooms in the lobby. They are one hole each. You can go in as a group if you'd like, but there's one toilet in each restroom. So uh, you can figure that out. Uh, they're unisex, and you can queue up there and just go into whichever one's open. If you don't want to get into a queue and wait on the toilet to open, you can go downstairs. There's more toilets down there. So... Uh, that's just a reminder. We're doing two sets this evening. There'll be a nice set of music and then a little intermission and then another set of music. And they'll intersperse themselves throughout this first set in uh, ones and twosies and that sort of thing. And then in the last set, I think it's mostly all together. So uh, I know you're going to love this. Uh, it's, it's a real honor to have people that are this talented and, and this uh, world-renowned world on this stage. And, uh, and, and so I'm just delighted. To, can't even tell you how much I am. So uh, I think, um, the, I, I'm not sure exactly how it's going to go, but somebody's coming out on the stage right now, so y'all give them a real nice welcome. Celtic Fiddle Festival, thank you so much for coming. Really appreciate it. Mesdames et messieurs, bonsoir. <coughs> Comment allez-vous nous, ça va bien aussi. Bon, ben, on a eu un petit peu froid au début de la tournée, mais maintenant, ça va mieux parce qu'il fait... Ça s'est réchauffé un petit peu. Well, anyway, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's a pleasure to be here in Dolot. I don't know if you say Dolot or du, du, Dulut. 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 <laughs> so, we are the Breton part of the band. Nicolas Kemener on the guitar and myself, Christian Lemaitre. And we will start with a with a set of uh, Breton dances. Uh, uh, Brittany, if you don't really know where it is, you might uh, have an, an idea of what is uh, what what looks like a map of France. It looks a bit uh, like this. <laughs> and uh, Brittany is exactly there. It's not complicated, you know. But it's uh, <coughs> quite a big country, even, even if it's small. <laughs> there are many parts of it, uh, many, many different traditions and different kinds of dances. The common point is uh, the, the dance in a big round, you know. And uh, the people go like uh, man, woman, man, woman, man, woman. Often you can see man, woman, man, woman, 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 because men sometimes have other things to do than dance. You know. But anyway, uh, the piece uh, is called Rond de Saint-Vincent. 
Rond means round, because it's, it's the big round. De means from. <laughs> and Saint Vincent means Saint Vincent. This is the name of the place. So a set of uh, rond de Saint Vincent. Thank you very much. Merci beaucoup. Uh, the next tunes uh, will, will be kind of a different kind of different kinds of tunes. You know, as in many countries, there are many different kinds of tunes. You have melodies, march tunes, uh, dance tunes, mainly. And so we, we will be playing uh, first a melody, uh, which is originally a song. Uh, you know, in Brittany, it's called Guers, and it's uh, generally uh, old songs, of course. And uh, it used to be very, very sad or terrific stories that the people uh, sang in the evening, so everybody can have a good night of nightmares and so on. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, uh, sometimes it's a uh, small houses, stone houses, very dark houses with uh, rain outside, wind and rain outside. And uh, in, during the day you can see the crows, they fly on rivers so they don't see the misery of the country, you know. <laughs> but anyway, 
This song is originally, it's called Des Gornim Me Plach Yavank in Breton language, which means uh, <coughs> follow me up to my own country, young lady. <laughs> <laughs> Then it will be a, a march tune. Uh, marches are very uh, popular in Brittany. For example, uh, during weddings, when the people uh, get out of the church, they gather in front of the church for the photography. And then everybody has to walk together to the first bar. So there is this couple of musicians playing a march tune to, bring, uh, to make sure bringing all all the people in the bar. Then the same between the first bar and the second bar, and the same between the second and third one, and so on. So the repertoire of marches is very rich. <laughs> and uh, we, we finish the set with a <clears throat> dance which is called Larry de Gavotte, which is a kind of mix between two dances. It's uh, definitely the fastest tempo for dance in Brittany. And it comes from a place which is called Pontiville, right in the middle of the country. I mean, one of uh, from one of the from one of the middle parts of the country, because there are many middle parts of the country. <laughs> it's called Pontiville, and Nicola lives nearby there. Thank you very much.
Thank you very much. Uh, I am going away now. I will be back later. But uh, now to continue this uh, Celtic fiddle night, please welcome the great Irish fiddler Kevin Burke. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> How y'all doing? <laughs> you look good. Although I'm not wearing my glasses, I have to admit. But it's great to see y'all here. Thanks very much for coming. Um, you met Nicola already. We're going to play some uh, Irish music together. I'm going to start off uh, with a tune I learnt from a woman called Lucy Farr, a great fiddle player from Galway that I knew when I was growing up in London. The second tune... Uh, is a Scottish piece of mouth music called Shummer of the Economy. I don't know what that means, but um, actually I shouldn't have said that. I could have told you anything and you'd probably be... It's called Welcome to Duluth, actually, <laughs> in Scottish Gaelic. Um, and then the third one is a kind of a hornpipe, but it's, uh, there's, a, there's a song to it, a uh, popular song years and years ago. Some say the devil is dead. And the next line is usually, and buried in Killarney. But um, when my grandmother sang it, she came from a small village called Kulani in County Sligo. So she always sang it as, uh, some say the devil is dead, and buried in Kulani. So, uh, here we go. That was just right, yeah. Who knows? <laughs>
Thank you. Well, um, before we go any further, I'd like to say uh, thanks very much to Amy for the lovely flowers that appeared in the dressing room earlier this evening. Thank you very much. Uh, and I'd also like to confirm uh, what Eddie said about the CDs out in the lobby. Uh, I, at this time of the evening, I always like to remind people that Christmas is almost here. <laughs> so, uh, in spite of what Eddie said, you can buy your Christmas uh, shopping now, tonight. And uh, just think how, uh, how uh, smug you can feel for the rest of the year, having comp accomplished that most tiresome of chores in such a timely fashion. Um, Nicola has some CDs out there. Chris John, who was here earlier, has, has some CDs. And uh, uh, he put together a great book about... Um, about Breton music, which also comes with a CD. Andre, um, that you heard, uh, uh, that you'll hear later, uh, also brought some CDs, and of course we have the group CDs as well. The most recent of which is called Live in Brittany, and we recorded it in Brittany when we were alive. <laughs> <laughs> So, I'm going to play some reels now. Um, the first one is uh, named after somebody called Dowd. I don't know uh, which particular Dowd, but around uh, the part of the world that my father came, uh, my mother and father both came from, a place called Sligo. There were lots of many, uh, many uh, musicians called Dowd, and they were all notorious for one thing or another. Um, now this one's called Dowd's Favourite and I don't know if it refers to a tune or maybe another musician or uh, maybe a girl he had his eye on, I don't know but uh, Dowd's Favourite is the name of it and then the second one is named after a woman, Julia, Julia Delaney and then the third one is called The Star Monster so I uh, hope you enjoy them We're going to enjoy them anyway, aren't we? It's a lovely room to be playing music in, uh, at least from our end. I hope it's the same from your end. It's our first visit here, so it's, uh, it's always kind of a bit of a lottery, you know, what's it going to be like, but it's, uh, it's really nice. So thanks very much to Shalom down there on the sound desk. <laughs>
Thanks very much to Nicola. Thank you very much. So um, I'm going to disappear now for a few minutes. Um, and pretty soon uh, Andre uh, Brunet will be out here with some of his music. But in the meantime, I'm going to leave you with the magical, mystical, musical, mellifluous hands of Monsieur Nicola Caminere. Thank you very much. <laughs> Il est fou. He's crazy. So I'll try to play a tune that I composed for my son. My son is called Jean Kemener. He's 22 years old. That makes me a little bit older. <laughs> and uh, it's a tune I composed in a <coughs> in Le Périgord, which is a part of uh, south of France, not totally south, middle south of France, where they make uh, beautiful uh, food and great wine as well. And I was playing there, I was on tour. I w there was a morning on the terrace, I was on my own with a bowl of cafe, <coughs> banging the guitar. There was that wheel laser coming every time I was. I mean that the lizard was coming toward me. So, uh, and I had a tune in my head, so I had composed that tune, and I was thinking of, about my son at the same time, so I called the tune of the lizard for my son. <laughs> Does it make sense? No. <laughs> and uh, there's a few, there's three parts in that tune. And the last part is a traditional tune from Brittany, which is called La Scottish de Pawet, ou Penwet. Pen in Breton language means the head, and wet means the wood. So means the, the head of the wood, the, the hedge, the edge of the wood. That's it. But I'm, I play it a little bit more rock and roll than uh, at home. <laughs> and. Uh, I'm sure a gentleman is going to join me during the tune, and I will introduce him to you afterwards. Thanks. <laughs>
Mesdames et messieurs, ladies and gentlemen, Nicolas Kemener. Ah Merci. Ça, c'est un tabernacle de sacré euh, copain. Que je vous présente là, please put your hand together for me. Mister André Brunet from Montréal. Oh, merci, thank you, thank you very much. Uh, I'm, I'm going to play you, uh, so I'm going to bring you with me up north where there is a lot of snow and it's really, it's really, it's really nice to be over here in the south. It's, uh, for me, it's now almost summertime. It's perfect, it's perfect. <laughs> it's not so cold. And uh, we're going to play you a tune. You know, at home we... Uh, You know, we, we, we speak in French and we sing in French as well. So that then the songs, uh, well, there's different kind of songs. And uh, the, the next tune is, is, a, is a slow air I have composed. And it's, uh, it's like uh, we used to sing all those lament songs. You know, uh, those songs that we are singing only between uh, midnight and 4 a.m. But uh, it, anyway, it's a slow air, which is not so common in Quebec music, but I really love those, uh, those air and those songs. And uh, here is a tune um, I have composed when I was uh, back home from a tour after a few weeks away from home and uh, being, uh, feeling, uh, uh, feeling really well to see my family. And uh, they were very happy to see me in one piece. And uh, so it was great to, uh, to have the chance to, uh, to see them. And I had a flash and I composed that tune. And I love this idea that we're not alone on earth. And also that uh, when you have uh, bad or good moments, uh, something or somebody is helping you. And I love uh, the idea of the angels working hard around us when we need them. Uh, and I have uh, just decided to compose that tune uh, in tribute to all my angels who are uh, up there looking uh, at me and uh, trying to help me in my way. And I have called this tune When Angels Breathe. So if you feel a, bre a breath from your back, it might be not your neighbor. <laughs> so here is the tune.
Merci. Thank you very much. So, did you know that we have brought some CDs with us? Yeah. So, okay. Somebody has told you. Uh, so, um, here is a medley of tune. So, let, let's... Uh, we're going to play you a medley, um, you know, to fill those dance evening at home. We're, da we're dancing a lot, the square dance. And it's, it's the most, uh, most dance we, uh, we have uh, at home. We have the, the, the quadrille, we have the Caledonia, we have the Cotillon, we have the Contra Dance. But the Contra Dance has been uh, brought from the States, you know, last, beginning of the last century. A lot of people has moved down to mass working and when they came back all those dance were coming down so uh, this is why I, I come from a small village called La Colle and it's about uh, five minutes from New York state border and um, uh, we're in my uh, region it's called La, La Vallée du Richelieu and that in this valley uh, it's uh, mainly the square dance and the American set who is dance so here tonight we're gonna have a medley of sets if you would like to dance don't be shy it's Sunday night fever, fever. <laughs> so let's, uh, uh, let's make this and uh, we tap the feet we love to uh, to make sure that uh, our ancestors are still remember uh, are, are can, can hear us playing their tune and uh, at home it's 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 the it's the metronome it's the drum of the Quebecois spirit. So the footwork is there. So don't be shy. Kiss the neighbor, tap the feet, dance. Everybody swing in the hall. And uh, let's play that. It's parti. It's fun, it's fun to come in the south, but the instruments are not used, it's totally dry at home now, so that's why they move it up. But anyway, ah, it's not grave, the music traditional, we'll play, we'll play. Are you ready? Yes. And it's parti. What a shot. One, two, three, go.
Voilà que mesdames, mesdames et messieurs. We're going to see you after the break. Thank you very much.
Hello again. So you're still looking good. You can relax. You haven't aged since 20 minutes ago. Um, so anyone here called Catherine? Oh, that's a surprise. That's sad. This next tune is called The Beautiful Catherine. So if ever you wanted to change your name to Catherine, now's the time. Because <laughs> we're going to play this for you. <laughs> uh, excellent. Right. Et c'est parti, mon ami.
Thank you. Well, they were three uh, Quebec reels. Uh, in fact, they were the, they were they were on the the first CD that we did with Andre. That was the very first track, a CD called Play On, which we happened to have outside the, in the lobby. And uh, this uh, this track is the the first. Uh, or this set of tunes is the first track on our most recent record, our 20th anniversary record, which is called Live in Brittany. Um, so we started off with a set of gavots, um, and uh, maybe Christian could tell you a little bit about mm. these. Oh yes, absolutely. If I remember well, that's if probably I enough. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> if I remember, uh, I uh, yes, uh, guitar, Kevin, and myself, please. Uh, okay. Sorry, it was. <laughs> If I understand well what I am saying, the gavot is uh, down from uh, central part of Brittany, it's a place called Mount Mountains. It's, uh, we have mountains, they are about uh, a thousand feet high. So uh, when uh, I say this in Colorado, uh, places like this, you know, everybody goes, ah! <laughs> but, <laughs> but, uh, it's still a, a mountain atmosphere, you know, very bad weather and, uh, and so on. But the people are very happy. The dance is a big one, again. And uh, this ca those, those, those tunes we will be playing uh, are compositions by a very famous accordion player who was living in the late 20th century. He started playing uh, around uh, 1935 he has a kind of jazz band, and he played uh, also waltzes, tango, paso doble, and so on. And he played, of course, gavotte. Because in Brittany, we can have a dance party, we, we can make, uh, dance rock and roll uh, and gavotte, uh, one after the other, it doesn't matter, you know. And uh, so it's, uh, he composed many very nice tunes. We, we play a bunch of them except for the last one, which will be a tune from Romania that, in, that has been put as a gavotte by a friend of, of, of us, a very great singer called Eric Marchand, who is working with some, uh, with some Romanian musicians. Thank you very much. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> gavotte.
Merci. Thank you. Thanks very much. Well, we've gone over to Ireland for these next tunes. Three slip jigs that we learnt from... Sorry, two slip jigs that we learnt from a great band over there in the north of Ireland, a band called Bioga. I don't know if you uh, know them already, but if not, uh, if you, and you have a chance to hear them, you should check them out. Great bunch of people. Um, Bioga is the Irish word for lively, and they certainly live up to their name. Uh, except these tunes are somewhat on the subdued side. Uh, they were written by one of the band members, a fellow called Sean O'Graham. And uh, we're going to start off with a lovely guitar intro from Monsieur Nicola. Thank you. So when this, uh, when this uh, collection of musicians uh, started out uh, over 20 years ago, um, one of the founding members was the great Scottish fiddler uh, Johnny Cunningham, who I'm sure many of you remember. He was uh, really 
great player and an amazing character, somewhat eccentric, um, putting it politely. Um, he, uh, he left us a lot of great memories and a lot of great music. So we're going to play two waltzes that he wrote. Um, like the rest of us, he, he had a, a great affection for the, for the music of Brittany, and he used to visit there a lot. And uh, these two tunes were inspired by his visits over there. Uh, one he wrote on the, on the boat as he was sailing away to kind of commemorate his trip. It was called Leaving Brittany. And the second one was inspired by an afternoon he spent in a bar watching a, watching a, a local Breton guy drinking uh, a drink called Perno, a very popular uh, alcoholic beverage. So Johnny was watching this fella drinking this small drink. It's a strange looking drink. It's clear when you pour it into the glass and then when you add water or ice, it turns yellow. Um, and Johnny was kind of intrigued watching this fella drink glass after glass of the perno. And then uh, the guy got down off the bar stool and went over to the bathroom. But Johnny noticed he didn't walk in a straight line. And he couldn't quite understand what was going on. Then he suddenly realised, oh yes, he's doing the Perno waltz. <laughs> so here we go with the uh, leaving Brittany and the Perno waltz. And uh, if Johnny, you know, Johnny died about ten years ago, but uh, if he suddenly appears tonight, don't be alarmed. He's just that kind of guy, you know. Um, he once described this group as a, an example of how. Three, uh, three traditions can be destroyed by one common instrument. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll play these tunes in honor of Johnny. <coughs>
So they were uh, a few tunes from mm. Ireland, three reels, the trip to Doro, the Abbey reel, and the last one, uh, a tune you always have to pay attention to, the maid behind the bow. You should always pay attention to the maid behind the bow. <laughs> so uh, we're going to play some jigs now. Um, Ireland is uh, well known for uh, having many, many jigs, but... Uh, Perhaps less well known uh, is the fact that there are lots of great jigs in Quebec too. So we're going to have some Quebec jigs oui. and uh, oui. Andre uh, say a few words about them. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We're going to play jigs from Quebec. Thank you. <laughs> oh, but you know, it's uh, basically bass <laughs> into the dance, you know. You know I the, the said that myself. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> I think I did. <laughs> <laughs> and it's uh, and you know the quadrille it's uh, a well known dance which will be more around Quebec City um, and uh, it's the, the Lancers is a, a quadrille really well known in, in a small village called Valcartier and Valcartier and uh, Shannon it's two towns in Quebec where uh, a lot of Irish people has moved down there in the last uh, century and uh, uh, well, it's, uh, it's, it's more than the, the last, it's uh, 200 years ago. And uh, they, they moved down there and, and the Lancers from Ireland was dance a lot in that region, which is close to Quebec City. That's why today there is a lot of quadrille. So we're going to play you a medley of quadrille. And it's uh, kind of a, a really a romantic dance. Not so fast. Uh, really, uh, yeah, romantic. Isn't it romantic? Romantico! <laughs> Romantica! <laughs> so let's play those tunes. The first one is called Col Porteur. And, uh, and after that, uh, there's La Gigue du Cordon. And after that, it's going to be uh, a tune called. Well, it's the second part of the uh, Lancers Quadrille in Val Cartier. And we're going to finish that with a nice tune which is called Entour Loupette. <laughs> yes, it's, I just uh, found yeah. out, found out, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's there's no, uh, entourloupette in English means entourloupette. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Who is entourloupette? Ah, who is Andre said he's very glad to be here. Oh. <laughs> the tradition. <laughs> Et c'est parti.
Thank you very much. <laughs> well, I'm afraid that brings us very close to the end of our music for this evening. Uh, we've, uh, well, maybe not that close. <laughs> Um, we've got, we've got um, another tune lined up for you that we're going to play, but before we play it, I want to say once again thanks to you all for coming out here this evening and being such a great Merci. audience. Great to see you. Thank you. Thank you. And thanks to Eddie for letting us into his place. A lot Yay. of people won't let us in, you know. <laughs> and a uh, special thanks to Shalom on the sound for doing such a great job. Thank you. Excellent. You made it very yep. easy for us. Um, so we're going to leave you with a tune called, uh, well, it was written by a man called Simon Jeffs, who had a great band uh, about 20 years ago called the Penguin Cafe Orchestra. And uh, the piece of music is called Music for a Found Harmonium. And uh, about 20 years ago, 25 years ago, I recorded it with a, a band called Patrick Street, an Irish band. And for some reason, it really caught the imagination of a lot of people over in Ireland which is a little bit strange because it's not an Irish tune. It's not a traditional tune. In fact, it's barely a tune. Um, <laughs> but we're very fond of it. Um, and we're going to intersperse throughout this tune, we're going to intersperse it with uh, various, uh, various morsels of musical whimsy for your Ke delectability. Kevin said he's very happy to be here. <laughs> 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 So uh, thanks again, everybody, and uh, it's been yeah. great playing for you. We'll see you all again. Thank you. Oh, yes. <coughs> One, two, three. <laughs> Thank you.
ya no se sabe.
everybody. <clears throat> Thanks a million. Thank you. Christian Lemaitre, Andre Brunet, Nicolas Camonier, and Kevin Burke. Thank Ladies you. And See you all again. Thanks a million. <laughs> well, thanks again. Uh, you still look great, even better now, actually. Um, we, we, <laughs> we're going to play one of uh, Andre's compositions. It's a beautiful waltz called La Valse de Chef de Gare, the, train, the, the station master's waltz. And uh, he, he, he was inspired to write it when we were on a train in England. Maybe explain further. So if there is a train passing during the walls, oh, you, will, you will know why. <laughs> exactly, yeah, because the train uh, just passed nearby here. Yeah? Mm -hmm. we, we, have, uh, we had the experience during the sound check. <laughs> so, and, uh, we almost played uh, this tune. Well, it's, it's a waltz. Uh, we were on tour in England, taking the train uh, going uh, north to Newcastle on time. Uh, and uh, I had the flash and I record the tune on my phone and back home I have composed, I have finished my composition and I, I just called it the, the station walls station master, station master walls <laughs> I will get it right one day I'm sure of that La, la Valse du Chef de Gare and I was, uh, I was playing uh, uh, you know I was playing the tune at home and I was uh, thinking about the, the station master always helping everybody to make their journey and uh, I said, uh, question myself, will he make his own journey? So here is this tune. Please don't be shy to dance. We're not available because we need to play the tune. <laughs> but, uh, well, maybe there's no stairs. So here is the tune, La Valse du Chef de Gare. Thank you very much. À la prochaine, mesdames et messieurs. Est-ce qu'on est prêt? Hein? All aboard! <laughs>
Thank you. Mr. Well, thanks again, everybody. Thank you very much. Thanks for a great night. All the best now, and Merry Christmas. <laughs>